Greetings and salutations, everybody, and welcome to Invisibility Plays. I am your host, Invisible, from Invisible's gaming channel, tracking at your heads from the dark side of the moon. And today we shall be continuing on our continuous let's play for Dungeons 2, published by Calypso Media and developed by. Realm Forge Studios. But before we start, first and foremost, I'd like to do the same ritual I always do before I begin any of my sessions. My routine. First and foremost, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers, fans, followers, and friends by name the altered beasts of the loyalty, Marcus, Rogation Ferrodan, ZPTV123, R4L, and Cryfield. Spear upon you all. I also would like to give my greetings and heartfelt salutations for everyone, members. All the members of the Beasts of the Elder Empire and free YouTube's YouTube uh, friends Discord server by name Thunder Strike Gaming, B809 Gaming, Lux Bar, Marcos, Natural Crash, Mark Icy, Rogue Agent Carol Dan, Cryfield, CPTV123, Matthew Elvin21, Slagarda Crow85, Alphorel, Muscle Band Gaming, and Public Scripts. Peace be upon you all. May you all stay safe always. May you all reach your goals and dreams always. And with that, let's get moving. I already uh, was informed about the fact that Ghostwire Tokyo will be with us. Next uh, Thursday, depending on the situation with me, I better very quickly get Dungeons 2 finished. Sorry, my stomach is a little bit filled with acid, so that I make sure once I put my hands on that game, I'll be able to let right away day one blindly. That being said. Let's get moving. Normally, today I should have a class in the college, but since um, the classes were cancelled due to the weather conditions, I have some time freely to make a session with for commentary also since it's still daytime. Let's get started. I spoke with uh, Marcus in the comments about what kind of uh, topics he'd like to, to hear from me about. What kind of commentary or take would you like to uh, hear me to giving about topics and whatnot. <laughs> Looks like I don't really care much about any topic as long as there is some commentary. Side with uh, Kurdan, uh, Rook Agent Kurdan, who told me that it doesn't really matter, commentary or no commentary, everyone has, uh, has their own style and uh, that's what makes us special and unique in our right. <sighs> so, in the case I cannot, uh, in the case I cannot record the new videos, new sessions, I'll simply pretty be uploading older videos as per usual, like the same format I used in the first semester. Sooner or later, my older videos are going to run out. And frankly, after uh, Dungeons 2, I would like to take a little break from uh, the real-time strategy games. As for Prince of Persia, a trilogy 1, 2, and 3 for the PS2, 
I'll need first to test out the emulator um, capabilities with uh, my laptop. Since I tried to play both uh, Thrillville 1 and Thrillville Off the Rails for the PS2 on the emulator for the PCSX 14 and 16, and uh, the cutscenes with the lag are very much disheartened, disheartening. I already uploaded the full look through with full commentary directly from the CRT television. Back in the day when I was still in high school, I also have pre recorded uh, the other uh, game of the rails with the fraps, the older top, I believe it was from Alienware. But uh, the difference between uh, of the rails, the PS2 version and the PC version, is that the PC version, since it has higher graphical settings, some things in it are unique and visually different than the ordinary version that exactly looks like the PS2 version graphics settings. Anyway, what you can guarantee from me is that I'll the uh, best to make sure that I have full concentration over both lives as a YouTuber streamer and also as uh, a student. Since obviously I will need to make sure that I do not need my studies for my master's degree. <laughs> Last time um, I upgraded to the second uh, level dungeon for the undead and I was working on uh, getting some more hits, I believe uh, for more of my points I need to destroy these spawners as soon as possible before I lose my goddamn sanity basically I believe that I'll have to take care of uh, this uh, via Parthas, desecrate uh, the, uh, the unholy aura of these areas, destroy the spawners so that I can make sure nobody else keeps annoying us. So I'll need uh, to upgrade this area with uh, new rooms, most likely. Just small rooms so that we can upgrade our units to the second tier and third tier uh, eventually. By the way, game, uh, would you like to tell me if there is any control to select all monsters or all your uh, minions instantly? Just uh, upgrade the scroll, uh, level, level after, select group units, tap, return, quick load, save load, demolish, fail, rotate, um, Basically, the only way for me to truly um, the only way for me to truly capture all of my units is via making um, them all into one single group and then throwing them. Hold overall. Uh, I need well, it's not overall. I need the. Undead Horde uh, Demons Dungeon. I need the Undead Dungeon, please. Yeah, um, these are just for the different rooms. What I need now is. So basically, there is no way. Another problem with this game. <laughs> Um, the girls keep on working on your uh, stuff, upgrades. I need some more tradable. You know what? Give me all everyone right here. And now we're going. Yeah, I do uh, remember what to do with all the units. We need some so much more forgotten servants. Because we do require to make lots of more traps. Okay, okay. Give me five more servants. Yes, five. Also for the ghosts who still live on. Still near. And 
Era să mor cash. What is it? Daniel? Thank you for surviving so far. What did I say last time that was it? Was that? You want money? Tell me your ticket. So then, two hundred mana and a thousand gold. Obviously, don't have either of them. Also, the blight spell already researched. But then that called the general. So as the skeleton can to be your general. Why whatever? Okay, since. We started the level with only pure one, so everything almost tier two is a kind of surprise for us. To say the least. I need to destroy these two spawners as soon as possible, because only then will I be able to upgrade my units freely and without rejecting any time sooner or later. Research transformation chamber. This is the one. Mana shrine and research alchemy station. Alchemy Station is uh, obviously the upgraded version of this uh, guys here. Um, tab, I think. This tab is to choose between demon uh, and dead groups. Need some more money, lots of more money. And we also need more servants. I did run out of money. Where are my uh, forgotten? They were not just only working on the traps. What traps are you talking about? First order, okay, this ones. It is said that there are giants around here, but they are all currently elsewhere, as basketball season is here once again. Close this one. I hope there is no bard. Please, I beg of you, bard. Please, go to hell and die for me. Bards are the only NPCs that have the ability to give me brain strokes. In this game. Oh. What do you want now? Yeah, what is it? This is on strike. Why on strike? Money. We'll have you some money soon enough. With more population points. Yeah, cash. Want this cash. Okay, uh, forgotten. Terrier. Trap, 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 trap. Okay, so 11 of you. Give me cash. Not traps. What is required from you is cash, not traps. Don't care where you are going to get it from. Oh dear lord. Give me cash so I can get more money and upgrades. Quicker, faster, please. Also two of you. I require a few more, right? This is more money. So you can spend it on your own upgrades. Also, if I have to, if I do have to, without any other choice, I am more than prepared to take all of my current army as is and go after the currently existing spawners and with some luck be able to help them out. Okay. Keep on going. I need to make sure that my creatures are here. There are enemies in your dungeon. So now, is there a bard? Nope. Then okay. As long as there is no bard to, to exist, then there is a chance for peace. Because bards are very much infamous for destroying all that I spend money on making. Here. 
I love this kind of money, 3000. Guys here uh, built me another one of these. And you guys here over here are going to give me a uh, message chamber and also the transformation chamber. And uh, that's literally it because I don't have much money for the sake of the tribe. Other than that, some more gold from here. Need even more gold. Here. 1438 is not enough for anything. You please, uh, ghosts, finish off with uh, points, please, so we can move on. Also, if I'm not mistaken, in the laboratory here, I can upgrade them, but they require even more money. Payday. Speed, level 14, and drugs. Okay, that won't impress the end much, but they're beating you set them. them as a speed dramatically. Okay. Obviously, I need to take out all my forgotten, I mean, all of my fighting units, and um, somehow tell them to get going. The work. Faster, 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 faster. These guys are going to come for us from the eastern gate again. Of course, there's a bard. Because why shouldn't there be a bard? Why shouldn't they make my life a little bit easier? Because making anything for me any easier is a crime. Have the Don't care. No mana. Bruh, I am the player, okay? I have already finished this game once before you even existed. So, please be quiet. Guys, fight some uh, enemies here for me. Few guys, uh, forget them. Few. I need more gold. Here. So, topics to chat about while we curse at the spawners that keep annoying me and that the fact I don't have any cash still for the sake of my upgrades. Nowadays, the world has uh, found itself a trend. I thought about this topic multiple times so far, and um, Nice, 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 but this will also require some more gold. Dark Lord. <laughs> Nowadays, the trend for the world is one of two. Either multiplayer games or sadistic games. Why does it invisible not play multiplayer games? Especially that every time a uh, game is a plane or triple jump gives their utmost uh, session of worship towards multiplayer games or difficult games, games with mods in them. I always have to justify why I they have to take on the disgusting commentary of you must be very sarcastically fun with parties around. First and foremost, Invisible is an introvert that has never partied in his life before, not even birthdays. My family traditions just do not, aren't like that, simply put. We do not celebrate birthdays. We do not celebrate holidays, we just um, eat something fancy, but no dancing, no music, no nothing of that sort. Think too much western or trendy or catchy or whatever. Even gra graduation from college, we, we never uh, truly 
separated it in a very specific way. Just have some food, have a feast, have some candy, that's not of it. Nothing too much extravagant. So, uh, and 500 for the one of them, okay. Here is your ultimate station, bra. Here is number two, bra. And I will not keep saying bra because it's a trend or it's a joke. Just saying it as a way of loathing. No? Third and you're fourth. Make me proud. That's an order. So. It's true uh, that I have uh, previously joined up with... Um, listen here. My story, my personal story with multiplayer games is specifically. I began playing multiplayer games when I was still in my middle school. Okay. Um, in the very early on uh, 2000s. And uh, first ever, ever uh, multiplayer game I played was... Uh, it was on a cloud. First ever uh, multiplayer game I played in my life was RuneScape, a browser style MMORPG, multi uh, massive multiplayer online player, uh, massive multi online role playing game. WMORPG was run RuneScape and uh, I played it because my uh, cousin recommended it for me and it was meh since it allowed you temporarily only to play for free and then if you wish to enhance your staff or even your combat level which is was your actual uh, level uh, game you had no choice but to invest some money so my parents were very much adamant that gaming is not worth spending too much money over and for that we never spend money online yet so by the way, when I say so with my teeth uh, only and my lip half uh, closing my mouth, I'm trying to sound a little bit silly, intentionally, because I have no spirit for humor in my soul, my body. Over here, some more for speed, faster. So, I played uh, RuneScape, I believe, for two summers. And once I reached a certain level that I cannot remember right now, I decided that it was time for me to either go premium or quit it. So, I quit it. Simply put. Also, after it, I began seeing some uh, online advertisements for other styles of uh, online games. Yeah, more, even more. By the way, the number of the Forgotten will be decreased by time as I upgrade my units. For now, I require tons of gold and tons of trucks. The more servants we have, the better. Uh, let me think here. So after it, I found out about Aria games and uh, played also with... Uh, uh, what was that again? I believe I did. There were two um, specifics. Two specific uh, companies who I played their games. I played uh, Fiesta online, a game that is uh, more of a cartoonish anime style game where I created four uh, characters in it, one uh, character for each class, the mage, the fighter, 
the cleric and the uh, archer. The game was uh, decent enough, very uh, cutesy style, but the problem with it, it was once again too much greedy. <laughs> the one thing that stood out uh, about Fiesta was it. Uh... Excuse me, VC, your hit points, I don't like them. So you'll go to take a bath. Heal. So Fiesta, it's only a thing that stood out between everything else. They accepted the service of Paymo, which is Pay by Mobile. But sadly, I was uh, back then so young that I was too stupid to understand that I shouldn't be spending money on this stuff. So that was my first ever experience with being literally a whale. Worlds in gaming are those individuals who spend lots of money mindlessly over um, honestly valueless garbage that you call uh, that you actually call privileges in games, such as um, skins, uh, boosters certain other specialties in uh, your game the thing is the more you spend the more addicted you will become to the game since you will have built between you and it a physical relationship you cannot just leave after you have spent in it your valuable money which previously i had honestly a sense of value for my own belongings for some reason. Either way, after spending some more cash in it and then playing Fiesta uh, for around uh, two years or three maybe, met some beautiful uh, people there and uh, made some uh, long lasting friendships as well. Um, with time, we got so much frustrated to the limit with their disgusting living system, so we started to f searching for alternatives with the same style. The same style is cartoonish anime uh, style with f fantasy focus. I tried playing the warrior style, the archer style, the his style and the cleric style in uh, Fiesta. The one that stood me the most was the wizard class. Um, because I love to fight from a uh, long range. Also, I love the magic uh, elements, the ice, the fire, the lightning, and on occasions, the buffs and debuffs styles. So, Basically, and obviously, the one style that stood out the most was the cleric because they had the gimmick breaking almost style of buffing. Buffing meant you get double or triple your hit points and magicka, and um, you basically can endure much more. The problem with the fiesta was after level approximately 60. Uh, unless you can uh, start uh, paying more and more and more for boosters, like a real uh, cash boosters, then you had uh, extreme disadvantage when playing. Because um, basically leveling up uh, and uh, playing through the story mode, were so much uh, ignored that your quests are too uh, too much limited and too few in between. Also about the other stuff, um, mostly throughout the multiplayer uh, games, there is an exceptional lunatic uh, concentration around uh, player versus a player Enemies mechanics. Have entered the dungeon. Which I lost the most because whenever you uh, join up with any kind of uh, online game, they instantly inform you that it is not that the time or effort you spend throughout your uh, life 
playing these games and risking it for nothing is what counts. What actually counts, what is uh, counted as the true actual game is when you start grinding endlessly for the better equipments and the enhanced um, Give me a moment here, please. Um, for the treasury, I think. Yeah. Enhanced gear, um, two stars, better stuff. Basically, when I joined Fiesta and RuneScape both, my main goal literally was to play player versus environment, not player versus player. Especially that when you play player versus player, the entire uh, style is literally fed up or say is feeding upon your pride and your uh, commitment for enhanced more time and more uh, farming for better uh, equipment which is uh, very much time consuming also um honestly very pressuring because uh, if you are not strong enough, first and foremost, the main focus in the game after you have uh, reached the maximum level will be completely just player versus a player. My pride versus your pride, my power versus yours, and my build versus yours. Basically, it's the same thing that happens always with every single online game. You, this, uh, with time, discover the most optimized uh, build and equipment, and then everything else is thrown to the garbage. Basically, there is only one singular build that the players had given up their lives to discover. And then, uh, once they do discover it, the elbow of the last men was once north of the wall, but they relatively quickly discovered that building an important pilgrimage site in an area full of zombies and man-eaters is rather dangerous. Why? One could be attacked every time one day. Okay, then the chatting now for the narrator. Basically, when the build is uh, known by everyone, and nobody else uses anything else at all. The fun of experimentation dies off very quickly. A new spell has been developed. Summon the general. Not really appropriate anymore because now Barthus was the corrupting evil's lab dog. I mean, general. This spell could be used to conjure up the old general, a huge skeleton for the crowd. Excuse me, did you just call me a laptop? What did you say? All I heard was woof, 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 woof. Uh, by the way, narrator. <laughs> I also heard you both saying woof, woof, woof. Stop being racist against undead. You blabbermouth. What was I? Yes, when uh, the concentration in the online gaming world starts completely shifting over what kind of. Uh, what kind of equipments, gear, and uh, build is the most optimized. There is no more fun in experimentation. There is no more fun in having your own style. Once there is one singular uh, build that works, everything else is literally um, disowned. Hey is this the example for that um, throughout my uh, writings um, I must always uh, I must also verify this while playing um, Fiesta and then moving out from it to playing um, what was the name for that again very good I'm uh, destroying more and more golden vines here 
was first uh, RuneScape, then Fiesta, then we moved out to Terra Online. From, from, from Terra Online, I played... Um, I tried to change a little bit with my uh, technique, uh, typical um, style of gaming, so I tried out... Um, it was uh, Fiesta, Terra Online, RuneScape, um, Jade Dynasty. Um, Age of Wushu, Silk Road, um, Florencia, Fly for Fun. That's the other day, play exactly. Uh, Silk Road uh, focused more on the realistic uh, depictions of the characters, and also it had a more Chinese style of setup. For the Jade Dynasty, we had uh, to live in the world of myths, Chinese myths once again, and uh, it was fun while it lasted, but in all honesty, Every time I played online, I had very big problems, especially when I made uh, friends, in quotation marks, since um, I made lots of beautiful uh, types of what you call a brotherhood ship or family ships with other players, and the type of insane jealousy that I encountered was just extremely toxic. And uh, it all uh, all hell went loose, specifically when I played uh, Blade and Sword Online. King Jade Dynasty taught me that, uh, frankly enough, the players only and uh, gamers play through online games, not for the sake of the player versus environment, but rather so that they play uh, PvP, player versus a player, and then each of them would like to show off their skills and gear and uh, challenge everyone else with their exceptional pride and if you um, if you don't respect them basically they will instantly kill you or report you as a hacker because unless you treat me like a god then you don't deserve to even be alive as not simply a fictional character but also as a human being and i'm not even uh, i'm not taking it too far the upgrading evil had built a transformation hold it you can use the transformation chamber to upgrade an undead to the next level, such as, for example, zombies, a ghoul, and a ghoul to the thing. Just to stick the into the transformation chamber and wait. Okay. It could simply toss weak undead creatures in there to create stronger ones. Go on, give it a spin. I believe that uh, two should be fine. Oops. So, uh, okay. <laughs> Basically, I made lots of friendships that couldn't last long throughout my days online because um, once I had a player, obviously most of the people I play with for some reason are all younger than me in age, in real age, so that player I uh, counted them as my siblings and I uh, met up with other players who uh, got very jealous to the point where they took me from uh, Terra Online to Jade Dynasty and uh, somehow tried to make me exclusively be their friends alone which is uh, Sociopathic, if I must say the word. And I, because of my age the, back then, I fell for it stupidly. No worries, nothing serious happened, but I only simply lost, almost lost two friendships instantly. Then I started searching for private servers for online gaming, because. Um, 
There are enemies in Frankly, your playing the normal way is very much annoying. Also, let me try this spell, please. Yes, this is the guy we offered to kill us. So, not only did I have some weird kind of uh, friendship um, rivalry, but also I lost a true number of very uh, courteous hearts and uh, good friends due to jealousy and due to difference in uh, points of view. As a matter of fact, the reason why I ended up quitting Shade Dynasty was because uh, my character in game married with real cash another character and that character worshipped Claire versus Claire gaming well I hated it because of the many countless times I ended up dying and lost my experience points with other uh, so you could see my dignity. Tasty brain spell has been developed. It allows the scurvy evil to designate an opponent as especially tasty for its mindless army. Thank you, narrator, for the explaining. Uh, where was I? Yes, about that. Um, so I don't know if I need some more uh, special for this area. What was I again? Uh, yeah, basically, when you get a little bit too good with others, they end up trying to study for themselves and try to guilt you that they tried their very best to hold you in safe distance from the others who could have somehow managed to harm you while you have already been known them for years and years and years. And then I found myself in Grand Fantasia where the classes were different and I ended up every single time I played the online games I always end up picking uh, mage classes and uh, in Grand Fantasy, the special thing about it was there was a magic class and there was the Necromancer class. What was so special about the online games, exactly to be frank, is whenever you desire to have a party, party means a group of um, adv adventurers or players together working on the same thing or working together to uh, defeat a specific threat or a challenge you form a collection a group to fight together with it co cooping basically enemies have entered um, the dungeon Simply put, all the online games have a guaranteed setting that nobody ever has the time to help anyone else. Why beats me? Most likely because nobody has a time for you. So unless you have um, what you call in the Shadow of Murder, Blood Brothers or Blood Sisters to help you all the time, the requestings or with the other requesting, you are basically alone. So since I already have my experience with the classes of the mage, spellcaster, and elementalists, basically those who control elemental attacks, I need to give my creatures some upgrades. XB, Questy, and VC. Get here. Upgrade. Abigrid, Abigrid. It's like they only have one way to go. Okay, so I chose to uh, go with the Necromancer. Necromancers are the summary class. Summary class have the... Speci speciality for... Summoning puppets and uh, minions to help him out. These minions do obviously cost some mana to cost to summon, and they are normally weaker than you. But at the very least, you always have a party to help you out with your stuff while you are doing your uh, questing or whatnot, or dungeons, etc. You know, it's, uh, you know that by now, or you don't. Basically, because everything you nowadays is just battle royale. Or survival horror. 
Cacete. Hello, é. Sal. The death evil had awakened a banshee. Not only could these screaming creatures damage eardrums, they could also make themselves invisible. Mas não. Let me try to think my words carefully a little bit, since I'm trying to keep up with my uh, topic here. Basically, um, if you have, um, if you can guarantee you have an endless supply of allies throughout your online experience, then you have the uh, full freedom to play as a warrior, that's the main tank. Um, which I believe upgrades to gladiator or knights, that's mostly in Fiesta, but other than Fantasy, I'm not really in, because I forgot by now. I played that game in high school. I played it for three years. The one that I played for nine years was Terra Online, the private server. Um, you either can get yourself a warrior, a gladiator, or a knight. You become, in the end, uh, a very experienced uh, fighter. Gladiators mainly are for the concentration on the Tarkin get us for frontline fighters, while the knights are the damage uh, holders, the ones who keep on taking all the damage. I grow and tank basically. Payday. <laughs> And about the others, you have the class of uh, rogue in Grand Fantasy, especially. Rogue becomes an uh, assassin, and then I don't really recall at all what they, be, what they become. You have then the mage. Mages can become either elemental mages who fight with uh, normal stuff. Fire, ice, lightning, and uh, your perfect uh, attacks. Then you have the necromancers. Necromancers are um, by default debuffers who crowd control uh, use the crowd control and their puppets, the pets they can summon as summoners to help them control the flow of the enemies, or sometimes even sacrifice enemies their enter the dungeon. own puppets to save their, their own lives. I played as a uh, necromancer because you obviously you just hit bad. Do you know how much this cost me? Uh, basically, in Grand Fantasy, after I leveled up my Necromancer quite a lot, um, we had a very big problem, specifically with my friends and uh, their timing. Also, one of my uh, online friends somehow managed to find themselves in actual true love with others who were older than them. Take that as you please. So I ended up uh, having somewhat of a rivalry between me and the others and I lost uh, those older friends. Ask them as in for uh, friend uh, favoring. So, after I couldn't level up anymore and I had no more reasons to keep on playing, I simply quit the game. Um, Age of Wushu was very beautiful. It's, uh, it was built on... The, it was... Uh, Age of Wushu was built on the premise of the Chinese uh, style of uh, martial arts and uh, schools. It's because the problem was not only that not, none of the quests were understandable at all, but also the entire world building was too much big. 
if you wish to travel from country to country, they had the world scale itself one to one. Enemies have entered the. This means if you have, if you wish to travel one uh, meter in game, you have to uh, travel it also in in the real world. One meter for one meter. Which was uh, ridiculous, stupid, and uh, paranormally discouraging from continuing on with the game. Also, according to the gear, to the schools of martial arts that you choose, you will have to go raid the other schools of martial arts, and eventually have to steal the other uh, schools of martial arts, techniques, and secrets. Because that's how the raids work. Played it for approximately one month, and then I apologize very much for my character there, but I couldn't keep up with the um, mad system, to say the least. I couldn't uh, keep up with the twisting, with the silliness, the themes, the trends, the stuff in it was just too much chaotic. Also, the one thing specific, uh, specific about Age of Fushu, your character, if left offline for too long, can, uh, will work on itself and have its own job, which you can later on go, uh, go back online to check on it, see how much money it uh, cultivated, how much it collected, but also if another player online was at roll by birthright and wanted to play some little joke, let's say, upon you as well. Two, three, five. One, two, one, two, three, four. So four. Okay. One, two, three, four. The other one. Basically, for an Asian future, the specific special thing was players can legally kidnap you and sell you to the slave to the slave traders. I'm not joking. Means that if any player would like to play, a wise man once found that these weirdwood trees receive their beautiful red color from the rich ketchup deposits in the soil in this region. When I say wise man, I mean he, and when I say found, I mean just decided. I didn't get it. Anyway, basically, if you went offline for too long of a time and you then couldn't find your character, most likely someone was playing a troll and decided that maybe your character should be given as a slave to someone. That was a feature in the game. So you, whoever uh, still plays Age of Fushu and sells other characters to the slave traders and then you will have to work for the slave trader until you can buy your freedom once again. Curses be upon you and I hope you die. And not just die as a character in the game but actually die as a human being because you're not worth it. At all. In fact, you should you should truly die, just die. Uh what is there? Yeah, uh, Silk Road. Silk Road was a very graphically impressive uh, video game. I truly loved it. But its biggest disaster was by twist uh, wise. Twist wise, you couldn't, for the love of God, know what to do any, anything at all. Questing wise, you literally were lost. No quest uh, markers, no paths, and even if you if you just have to read the quest descriptions to figure out what to do next, regardless what you want to do. 
the most uh, famous thing about Silk Road was that the premium uh, players, those wills and uh, individuals, enemies have entered the dungeon. Love to spend cash on the game. Um, we're able to summon lots of pets. Let's kill. Evil had awakened the gremlin. These cute and bloodthirsty creatures could set traps, bewitch enemies, or simply take a hearty bite out of an opponent. And when they weren't doing any of those, they took care of the graves in the cemetery. Thank you for your continuous non-stop uh, stabbing me. Two more. Uh, so yeah, quest mark has non-existent. Uh, quest description is your only way to understand what's uh, as what is asked of you. Skill systems too much complicated. Pet systems too much complicated. Everything is just too much complicated. So I just uh, like went outside of it. Florencia was a very weird game where you basically. You are a pirate simulator, in a pirate simulator. Couldn't play it even for two more minutes because my uh, computer couldn't render anything at all. Like, uh, what else did I play? Um, Bite Fight, a browser style game. Uh, Werewolves versus has vampires. Played it for approximately three hours, then got a glitch in the game. Contacted their support, and after their support, could, they didn't reach me for approximately six months. I simply quit it. I also, if you are wondering, I prefer werewolves over vampires. Then I. Uh, Tried out uh, Scarlet Bleed. Scarlet Bleed is uh, a fan service focused uh, abomination, basically. You play as uh, a number of ladies where you are a semi humanoid, semi automaton and uh, you fight uh, the other side with all the power you have you have got <laughs> obviously the number of players who didn't enjoy the fact that their own only girls grew up and they demanded that uh, at least one single class of uh, male could actually be playable that game, even though it had some elements for their business environment, its main focus was PvP, pure and simple. So, yeah, once again, as a player, as a player versus player, just light up your pride, the candle of your pride and turn it into a volcano. I also played... Uh, I also played with... Uh, um, what was that? Uh, cosmic Impact. Cosmic Impact uh, focused its uh, more uh, gameplay on its Shibi style uh, characters. You play as once again Mika um, characters and you fight. Mostly the fit focuses on uh, PvP, not PvE. Again, I am getting sick of saying PvP all the time. But once again, multi uh, WMORPG games always focus on PvP. Hey, yeah over all else if you're not into pvp why do you even exist smooth and simple why do you even exist not as a player character but as a human being then i decided to take my chances with uh, i was uh, waiting for uh, Lands of uh, Glaffendor, another puzzle game style that is uh, wait, just to click and wait. The rapid revelation to us game was, it was just garbage, pure garbage. Then I played, uh, I was waiting with my, my full patience on uh, the project Peria Chronicles by Nix uh, Media. 
fine. While I was waiting for them, I um, joined the game. Um, Echo of Souls. Echo of Souls, uh, I made from it four, once again, classes. The Mage, the Archer, the Fighter, and uh, whatever the last one was, I don't remember, but maybe the Rogue. Um, it was completely gender locked on what characters you can play with and what uh, style you wish to play with. Um, I, for the sake of the mage, as as uh, per usual, I always play this class. The mages only had two this time. The fire mage that's more uh, focused on attacking and uh, aggro. The one that I chose was the ice mage, because they told me back then the ice mage was kind of overpowered because it used its own crowd control system to enhance its abilities altogether. So I decided to go with the stupid um, decision of a playing a player versus environment ice mage would you like to guess what happened turns out that the both mages in fact fire and ice are co focused completely on pvp style obviously for god's sake and for that for that cursed reason, I uh, ended up choosing the wrong uh, skills for my specialties as a, an ice mage because I wanted to play with uh, player versus environment, not player versus a player. I hate player versus a player style. So I chose the skill that I wanted and not the skill that I was uh, informed to choose. And once I, by the way, the golden uh, number means that this character has reached the maximum status for, for now in this uh, speci specific. Let's get out and uh, face these disgusting wheels. What's that wrong? Basically, once again, the game is not at all about what kind of storyline you pick or follow. The full game literally focuses on what kind of gear, equipments, and weapons you are going to use, and how much you are going to frequent the cash shop items. So, in the story short, there is no fun anymore in the game. Also, just uh, little by little, our guild that I never was able to uh, join because, um, funny enough, the guild was disbanded after the uh, guild members back when we still used the Discord for the first time ever. Um, turns out that our leader back then decided we will go to the find out the path of unholy aura <laughs> can conjure up an unholy aura simply you select the skill from the action window when battles is selected you can cast the spell from within the aura even if the aura has yet uh, not yet been turned to evil area in addition okay whatever so that the mindless army could enter. Good work. Basically, long story short, if you wish to play multiplayer, all you need to do to know is that it is not about the story, it is not about the environment, it's not about the experience, it is not about you or what you want. Playing online simply means you need to build up your strength and power in order to show everyone else around you that, um, simply put, you are a god of your own uh, class uh, style and nobody has the right to judge you. 
simply put it's just feed your pride feed your pride feed your pride feed your pride endlessly and once it is fed just keep uh, gaslighting it more and more and more non-stop if you want if you're looking for a story focused game online there are none literally Online gaming is all about pride, vanity, more pride, more vanity. Have I said pride and vanity enough? Payday. Also cash, 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 and more cash. Then, after I play, I quit from... Uh, so I quit from uh, uh, Echo of Soul. <laughs> I... Uh, Went in a hiatus from all kinds of uh, multiplayer uh, MMORPGs until I uh, tried out playing Dead and Soul. Dead and Soul was a game that I waited for over 10 years since it began its own uh, development in uh, South Korea and then it was uh, published in China first. The ritual was completed, the tombs desecrated. Instead of a magical aura, all that surrounded Melty Sand now was And it was time to give that pesky priestess a truly hair raising experience. <laughs> We cannot allow the undead to pass. Defend the altar at my side, and your deeds will be sung throughout the kingdom. Through the fire god's power shall you be revived. Oh, I forgot about that altar again. The silver evil wasted no time in destroying. Forward, undead. Follow me. For the corrupting evil. The corrupting evil's undead army had almost reached Nautisland when the cowardly fire priestess pulled back, preferring to send more of her minions into the fray instead. Forward, men! Destroy these undead! I'll be right behind you! I just need to sort something out first. <laughs> yes, you're sure. Walk behind you. Just need to sort something out. Typical, cowardly living creature. Can I talk now or not yet? And now you die, fire woman. Traitor, you may have won this battle, but the war is not over yet. I will build a new, even bigger altar and send you and your vile master back to your graves. I will not let that happen. After a... Hmm. Yes, easier said than done. This bridge has collapsed and was unfortunately the only way deeper into the south. The unable to swim evil's troops would have to make a detour before they could resume the chase. Their path would lead to the east, into a region also belonging to the Alliance. That being the case, they would just spread their chaos and destruction there first. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so basically, I first of ever time I joined Discord was with a group of uh, gamers who wished to play together. That's literally it. The leader saw me publishing and posting my fan uh, fan fiction writings on the forums of uh, I believe that was the Grand Fantasia basically I met uh, their some players that I get really interested in. You could say maybe even a crush. Chasing Melty Sand proved difficult, for she had destroyed the path behind her. The corrupting evil therefore turned eastward. There, 
In the frozen fields of Elsa, a part of the Alliance had built new King's Ending. The city would not last long. Yeah, very funny pun in the frozen fields of Elsa. Very funny, buddy. Very funny. I almost laughed. <laughs> So, after the leader of that Discord server saw my talent in writing, he requested from me and invited me to join them and plan for the upcoming game. Everyone was looking for Peria Chronicles. For Peria Chronicles, the frozen fields of Elsa lay before the corrupting evil. These would have to be crossed to follow Melty Sand. Yet the Alliance watched the area as much an obstacle as the cold itself. But the cold had gotten worse of late, as if to say, winter is coming. Slowly, it began to look as if the area had been cursed by a prickly ice princess. In reality, it was the presence of ice cold evil. A group of fanatical Melty Sand followers, the Brotherhood Without Hammers, also came to the fields of Elsa intent on setting up shop. The corrupting evil would put their plans on ice. Okay, what do I have to do here? Brotherhood workers. The Brotherhood will occasionally send out to work gangs. They are not stopped. They will either build fortified fortresses, outposts, or march straight to the dungeon. What this means is build your cursed dungeon as quick as possible and uh, prevent the enemies from building too much because then they will the basically crush you. The followers had arrived in the fields of Elsa and built their main camp. Shortly thereafter, they sent a construction team to build an outpost. That would, of course, be nothing less than a suicide mission. It says here, quote, the workers build a spawner, unquote. Spawner? What's that supposed to be? Oh! Oh, a house. Why doesn't it say house, then? What a load of horse shit. <clears throat> the Brotherhood's workers enthusiastically began to build a cozy wooden house for their fighting comrades. This is bad. This is bad. This guy here will start now, little by little advancing until they reach us. They built a few impressively large catapults that made a distinctly unpleasant impression, but that would not stop the mindless army. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, you already know it by now. We need to make our traps ASAP. And neither would the quickly erected watchtowers. Wonderful. The tidying up evil would have a great time with the creative dismantling of these facilities. Almost as much as I will. <laughs> would you like also to finish this level already? You are expanding too fast. We just began. Where was I? <laughs> Did the Jet Dynasty, I played it for uh, some time and then quit it because my character in game got divorced by a player who adored PvPing. <laughs> Basically, player versus player style of gaming. And because of my continuous complaining about getting PK all the time, player killed basically, he ended up divorcing my character. So, yeah. Once uh, that happened, I instantly quit the level right away. Quit the game completely. Also, in. Uh, Terra Online, uh, a friend of mine that I had as a true real life crush, the problem is that between us both was the whole world. <laughs> Um, as in uh, overseas time zones. 
So we had no way at all to meet up. And I ended up uh, simply praying for the day we could meet, which never happened, because they quit the. That player quit the game because uh, she met someone else and decided that our uh, thing will not work. Lastly, I simply gave up and quit the game. Also, um, Sometimes when I played, I found some rather cultistic style of leaders for girls who had ties in within the developers of the games. Those disgusting creatures destroyed my gameplay world altogether. The make-believe style. I can't place here the fantasy games before they start. Um, if you mad about it. Cemetery also quickly, please, because this uh, level is mostly uh, a speedrun level. <laughs> I I am pausing because I'm trying to set, to uh, place my thoughts in order. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> Um, Jedan is my character was divorced from their uh, spouse that actually paid the cash for the wedding because of uh, this, uh, the partner of the PvPing and I hated PvPing so the partner took offense to that and I ended up because of that quitting the game altogether that uh, that's not that upon divorce. Payday. For Fiesta, it was because the extremely greedy style of uh, monetizing. I ended up uh, quitting it because we couldn't level up anymore or do anything unless we paid cash, which I had no interest at all in doing. Told me a cheap stick, okay, but I I know what to pay and when to pay, to pay it. What to pay it for. So yeah, I decided that I don't want to spend cash on that game, and I left it. As for... We said the uh, Age of Fortune was too big and too, com uh, too confusing. Also, main focus on, is on... Uh, PvP, not PvE. I played Blade and Soul so much and uh, reached a very decent uh, level of uh, soul progress. Blade and Soul by far was the only truly focusing on story kind of uh, an MMORPG. Uh, sadly, its economy, its um, style of economical. Uh, money and cash flow is extremely corrupted and uh, f uh, fully based on uh, gambling basically in your unless you are fully prepared to uh, pay cash for everything literally then you are better off not paying the game at all also you need to spend heavily on your as per uh, usual, your boosters, your gear, your stuff, your equipment. Just very disgusting. Say the least. Then I waited with all of my patience for pre Chronicles to come out. pre Chronicles had given an exceptional uh, style of uh, freedom for the players because it was built purely on the system that you will have to learn Python, the um, programming uh, language, because uh, basically you will program everything on yourself by your own, 
you can build your own towns, you can build your own animations, you could cook actual meals, you could uh, build your own economy, your kingdom, your empire, your own dungeons. Not like uh, Dungeon Keeper style, but actual real dungeons. It had extreme uh, wide variety of uh, potentials and uh, experimentations. Its biggest problem was that Nixon, the company who took it as a test for beta, for beta, was in China, mainland, and for that, the only way for you to register as a beta player or a tester was to have your own Chinese ID. Yes. To play online games, you had to connect your own ID, civil uh, card, with your personal information, because it was China, mainland, not Hong Kong. So, uh, the black market for stolen IDs on Discord blossomed like it had never done before. And the number of uh, Western players who, uh, who bought stolen identity cards from China was fascinating. Obviously, the game was too much complicated for new players, and instantly also, it was one hell of a trolling heaven. Because everyone was trying their very best to build their own uh, towns, start their own stuff. The thing about uh, Priya Chronicles was you found, just like in Pokemon, creatures in the out uh, wild that you made uh, contracts with, like Shin Megami Tensei games, and you collected the creatures. These creatures were used as cards for summoning. Same style as uh, Shin Megami Tensei style, the main uh, series games. You then gathered your troops, your familiars, um, made more contracts, expanded your uh, boundaries, and uh, overall upgraded your own boundaries. It was one of the 4Xs style games. 4Xs are expand, explore, exploit, and exterminate. <laughs> Basically the same uh, as Age of Empires style game. So, uh, the trolls began instantly their cursed existence via using the power of the creation tools to destroy what others are creating, what, are they, what they are making, and to ruin everybody's uh, progression. Fighting system was still very uh, immature in its infancy. Within two weeks, Peria Chronicles was decided that it was too uh, early for this kind of gaming in our uh, world, and thusly, the game was cancelled altogether after waiting for it for over 15 years. Five years of uh, non-stop trailers, non-stop advertising, non-stop hype, 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 and in the end it was cancelled because it was too early for our world time. It was completely cancelled and it was the team for it was disbanded. So curses be upon you. Trolls and uh, frankly everyone that destroyed our hopes in uh, getting such a dream come true style of games it was simply but unfair literally unfair so then after that the era the cursed era we have right now of uh, battle royale blossomed officially Everything had to be simply put, uh, Battle Royale, everything was, uh, by the way, Battle Royale as itself, um, genre, its uh, true origins are Asian, from the film Battle Royale, 
where uh, school students are uh, bit against each other in a fight till the death style of uh, battle. I didn't watch the film, thus I have no idea who won, who lost, and who died exactly. But what I do know for a fact is... Um... Enemies have entered the dungeon. <laughs> The western peak of everything is instantly action-based, action, style, focused, etc. It is a bit disgusting, honestly. So, once the battle royale stats began with the player unknown battleground PUBG, and then uh, Fortnite arrived to steal everything from PUBG and make it as if it is the the true actual designer of the entire genre, which it is not. And then its uh, worshippers and uh, supporters suddenly came out of nowhere to worship it as if it was the game of God. Oh God, I really hate these kinds of games. So then, um, Fortnite later on became an opposition, a really occultic uh, thing, trendy stuff, and you know everything else what happened afterwards. It simply became the curse. Yes, crucify those horrible alliance work gangs can take over territory and regodify them. This completely undo that does all your lovely evil works to make matters worse. They also build a mini base in the area where tra trains uh, units and throws them at you so you can clearly see that you really don't want anything to, to be glorified the corrupting evil would certainly stop them this time if we keep like this the number of uh, the, uh, of uh, hero parties will be unstoppable we need to work it a little bit faster. What was I talking about again? Yeah, Battle Royale. Sadly, this generation only understands Battle Royale and nothing else as for uh, multiplayer games. Well, <laughs> the thing is, it's not that I'm trying to think what I wish to say. I am running out of breath to speak with because I am mostly ranting. I'm not for new workers. Hold two minutes. Yeah, we get it. I need some uh, traps. Hello, one home. Workers are building one outpost after the next, and the dozing evil sits around on its icy butt. Would someone please be kind enough to, in future, intercept these workers before they can build an outpost? Do you want me to get killed, or do you want me to upgrade? Choose one. I cannot come out like this. I need some sugar in my system. I haven't eaten yet. Uh, normally when I play these games, I have some coffee or some tea with me. So that way it gives me more sugar to drink. <laughs> Give me a moment, please. I need to get some energy stuff. Tea, coffee, whatever. Be right back, please. One moment. I've already been playing only for one hour and a half. Also, I'm not going to pause uh, OBS because I don't want it to crash mid uh, recording.
Once upon a time, there was a kingdom full of flowers and rainbows. But there was a path leading to a different place there, in which the absolute evil lived. One day, the absolute evil decided to do something new, something quite monstrous. Go to the circus. Dungeons 2. Out now. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom full of flowers and rainbows. But there was a path leading to a different place there, in which the absolute evil lived. One day, the absolute evil decided to do something new, something quite monstrous. Go to the circus. Dungeons 2. Out now. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom full of flowers and rainbows. But there was a path leading to a different place there, in which the absolute evil lived. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, back with uh, a mug of coffee. I'd like to do some uh, snacks. I keep them always behind me in case I need some quick energy. So it's just a case. I need to break it off. Okay, we need some energy to go to work. Since this is more or less a speedrun level, we are not going to stay on it for too long. Especially if the narrator keeps annoying me with his non-stop criticism. Okay, my moment, please. I'm a sugar refill. Much better. It's payday. Okay. I think by now I have made my point clear why I hate most of the line gaming. Styles. There are enemies in your dungeon. Mostly because it revolves around pair versus pair, seeking wheels, and heavy spinders. And also because they can focus completely on pride and vanity. <laughs> And making sure that players hate each other over this list of things. Now what? I have now two waves together. I need to get out of them as well as possible. For me, And the first thing you do when you start a new game, especially an online game, is to ask right away, where are the moves? Where are the enemies that I need to kill so I can level up? Where is the best gear possible? What is the best build possible? And how can I put my hands on the the strongest available techniques for kill the dinosaurs the ice age <laughs> I'm here all right I'm a cemetery very quickly just like that would be here Enemies in your dungeon. So, when your game is only built about around uh, just fighting non stop and uh, PvP style encounters, yeah, we are, uh, we are starting to get overwhelmed. We are already starting to get overwhelmed by the increasing numbers Enemies of the waves. <laughs> Simply put, unless you do something as soon as possible, the dungeon will be uninhibitable. Un 
Now what? You know what? You are asking for this, by the way. You are asking for this. When I play a game, what I find the most uh, important about playing it is the story, uh, engaging story, interesting uh, character development, um, interesting um, plot wise uh, hooks and overall a feeling of competence and caring but the online gaming community cares about is just give me the best uh, possible gear and build. There are enemies in your dungeon. Also, make sure that you can kill as many other players as possible. Since progressing your story mode is worthless. And uh, exploring the world is also uh, worthless and pointless. Because simply put, everybody just wishes to be the strongest ever was. That's the truth. Finish up already. We need more uh, forgetting to get you more money. After all, 4444 four, four, four is the golden, uh, golden number. I'm not going to increase them any further. further. You need to make it faster uh, for the production. I don't know that that should be enough, but yes, you saw the. Who am I kidding? Most likely this uh, will be just a speedrun tactic as is. Okay. If you come out of here, we are going to take you out so you can finish off a little bit of enemy camps. We need to destroy enemies as quick as possible. We need too, too much waves. Um, latest game, uh, multi online uh, player game that I ever played was uh, Spillbreak. Uh, magic style. Um, Puzzle Battle Royale. As I was uh, introduced to it via one of the people just to, uh, to wait for with us for Prayer Chronicles and I uh, registered myself for the alpha level of uh, testing because I thought that having a game that is completely focused. When the corrupting evil's troops reached a hill in the middle of the fields of Elsa, <laughs> they were astonished to find themselves looking down at a horde camp. What was it doing here? It didn't look like they were settling in for the long run. It looked more like they were simply passing through. Where were they headed? It didn't matter. The fratricidal evil would simply eliminate this competition. They're on their way to the ritual mountain. You have to head over there yourself. The ritual. I said it doesn't matter. We can clear that up later after the chaos and bloodshed. Bloodshed? That's what I live for. Well, all dead for. That's the spirit. Oh, you're not much help. How did it discuss? <laughs> Hi. Get 
No worries, the cemetery is already prepared. To For uh, games that are uh, focused more mainly on Battle Royale style, <laughs> the main focus is to kill kinds of uh, rivalry and to destroy as many of your enemies as possible and as quick as possible. Be the last one survival and the last one standing. Usually, the Battle Royale style games focuses on exclusively the and another group of workers once again shuffles off to build an outpost. Is there anyone awake at the corrupting evils to stop this troop at least? Well, looks like nobody's awake as long as you are still alive, narrator. Problem with uh, battle royale style games is that they breed rage quitting, they pre breed toxic rivalry, and uh, they breed hatred. In fact, uh, they are very much infamous for destroying uh, countless uh, friendships. And if you tell me that the only way for you to be to get better in a game is to destroy all kinds of competition in it, then you are sicker than I thought. Because it's the tower. I don't have much numbers for this record of series. Come on now. Another word gang has completed an outpost. Just to make things perfectly clear, you're supposed to stop these workers before they do. Okay? If you find me this level of incompetence, you are more than free to take from me the game. Right up. By all means, take it. I'm doing what I can with what I have. That's it <laughs> Obviously we have no hope at all in destroying this spawner. At the least we can try. Your god is the spawner, not the enemies. Come on, you can do it, come on. Of course you couldn't do it. At least we have some traps right now. But we also need some more uh, power clay pots. It's payday. Have your money and get lost. This. <laughs> I don't understand that without. Uh, What is it? There are enemies in your dungeon. <laughs> Understand that without uh, pride, there is no rivalry. Without rivalry, there is no fun. And without fun, there is no game. But in honesty, I find that without uh, characters to to care actually about their lives or their well-being, there is no game. And funny enough, that's exactly what the world of multiplaying is about. No characters, no story, just brainlessly uh, keep fighting 
until you die and kill your supposedly friends. And that's literally it. In fact, when first Spellbreak came out as a battle royale game, the first question I ever asked the developers who will speak to the players from time to time periodically, what is the story behind the game? Exactly. Why are we fighting using magic gauntlets and fighting each other? What are we exactly up to? Why do we exist in this world? Would you like to know what kind of uh, answer the other players gave me? Who cares? Were he just to kill each other and throw away some uh, magic spells, etc. These kinds of answers for me are cancer. And the frankly speaking, if you truly don't care about the lore or the details or anything of that kind at all, why do you even play? You shouldn't have the right to play anything. Because the games are built on around the uh, plot, around the kind of lore, a reason to exist. You have no right at all to play anything to the matter. If you are only just there to fight and there kill stuff and just feel the tower fantasy all around you, then by all means, please kill yourself. Or quit the games. Besides, uh, because it is almost the same thing with Percy Hosley. Getting good is not about playing games. It's about just satisfying your own narcissism. That's where the trend for the difficult settings starts with their cancer. Unless you play on the hardest difficulty, then you're not playing it. So basically, you want us to play as if we are living in the real world in our cursed hill. And you want us to keep on going with endless torture. Let's set again with it. Why does invisible us? Exactly as per se, play video games. We're gonna do I play video games not because merely uh, for the fun factor, but because I require distractions. At first, I expected that uh, perhaps. Playing video games would be a very good uh, tranquilizer for the pains or psychological problems or whatnot. But I grew so much. Corrupting evil's rickety workers dug their way into a section of the underworld obviously controlled by the Horde. What were the Greenskins doing here? What were they up to? Where were they going? And why didn't the producers of Michael's fairy tale Fiesta call me back to hire me as their speaker? Questions upon questions. The best answer would certainly be to completely and absolutely wipe, obliterate, Ford Dungeon forever. Fine, but don't start a uh, problem with him right now. We can barely sustain this dungeon now, as is. Mana doesn't exist here. <laughs> Not enough clay pots. I have money for anything yet. We already have 3,000. What? How much do these things wear? Clay pots. No clay pots. If I wish to. Let me think. Sorry, keep going. What is it? Nobody invited you! Is this spawner? A dungeon entrance. Payday. I'm starting to regret having opened for you up this place. I literally do.
So if I do not annihilate you, you will have to have to annihilate me. Is that it? At first, when I was younger, the love for exploration and the fantasy were the reasons why I started gaming. Since uh, my siblings did not uh, share with me most of my interests, gaming was the only thing that we all loved or uh, cared about. But with the uh, time, as uh, li life went on and onwards, I started to use gaming not exactly just for entertainment, but more like a therapy. To loosen, to loosen the pain, to give oneself some more hope, and to have something to do some actual thing and not something to lie to yourself about doing it. I don't realize very well that the real world requires uh, some uh, level of uh, concentration, knowledge, self-development. But honestly, what is there that Ralph? Ralph? Usually, when I play this game, to take the narrator on with his sarcastic, non-stop commentary, I play something in my left ear or right ear and listen to it on the Bluetooth therapist as a distraction from his disgusting commentary. Currently, I'm not doing this. Lastly, his criticism is getting on my nerves. It looks like for him, this level should have been speed ran from the very first moment it started. Meaning, you're not supposed to upgrade anything. You're supposed to just summon creatures, take them out, and finish the level right there and then. Obviously, more spawners mean more waves, which means that by this point, even traps are not enough. And having already revealed the horde's uh, nest, this level has already been lost. What will I do? We start. You can't defeat it. After the third post has been established, and uh, you simply cannot defeat it. Waves upon waves upon waves of heroes and workers will be arriving, and that's it. I'll go have dinner and then uh, continue with the session. Frozen fields of Elsa. Shut up! The same way you keep shutting me up, shut up! <laughs> Me and you. I'm not only getting tired of this narrator as the criticism, I'm also not within my strongest form right now. The sugar gave me a boost of energy, but not enough. I'll go have dinner and do it back here. We have been recording for around two hours exactly. I hope you enjoyed so far this session, and I'll see you at the next part of it. If I could come back here to record it. By the way, uh, take care of everybody and stay safe. Invisible here with you, for now at least, sign out. Come on, I just wanted to finish two hours recording. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.